Brooklyn Independent Television. It's widely accepted within the medical community that breastfeeding is very good for babies. Even more widely accepted, obesity is very bad for everyone. But what a lot of people may not realize, including many new or expectant mothers, is that breastfeeding may help keep their infants from gaining excess weight as they grow up. New York City's Department of Health is working on a number of projects having to do with breastfeeding's connection to child obesity. Here to tell us more is Dr. Lorraine Boyd, Medical Director for the City's Bureau of Maternal, Infant, and Reproductive Health. Welcome, Dr. Boyd. So, Dr. Boyd, how does breastfeeding help to prevent obesity in babies or, and children as they get older? Well, Dr. Sweeney, there are a number of different ideas that people have uh, with relationship to that. Initially, we thought that it was healthy moms with healthy lifestyles who embraced breastfeeding and therefore um, had children who didn't gain weight as fast. So it didn't have to do specifically with breastfeeding, that was the theory, but because the mothers who breastfed were health conscious, that's why the babies were less fat, obese? Well, that's one of the things that we thought, but I think that uh, what's exciting and new about breastfeeding research is that we now know there may be a number of other factors that contribute um, on a more, you know, natural way. Um, number one, babies who have feeding cues. That is, babies learn um, how much to eat as they grow. And breastfeeding babies um, learn their own cues for how often they want to eat and how much they want to eat, as compared to bottle-fed babies who often are just sort of encouraged to eat whatever is in the bottle. And so it, re it um, ends up being more calories than not. So the babies themselves decrease the amount they take in, and that may be the reason because they say, I've had enough, and the mothers doesn't see how much milk they've taken from the breast, so they just say that's enough and the baby stops eating and they don't get fat. Well, the babies decide on how the much. The babies decide, okay. Is, and we call that infant feeding cues. Okay. And so the infants um, actually are the ones who determine how much they need to grow and uh, thrive. We're gonna come back to the thrive part in a minute, but mm -hmm. is there another theory you wanna tell us about? Well, there are a couple others. Um, the second one has to do with insulin. Um, babies who are breastfed have lower insulin levels than um, babies who are formula fed. And those babies tend to be smaller because infants who are formula fed with higher insulin levels um, tend to eat more. And insulin is the hormone that makes us have more weight. Um, and so that is um, a problem. I want to make sure that people in the audience listening to us who are on insulin don't start saying, I need to stop my insulin, that's why I'm gaining oh, weight. Oh, no. <laughs> so if any of you are hearing us talking about insulin and weight gain, before you change anything, go and see your doctor. But the way to relate it is when you don't have enough food on board and you've taken your insulin, you feel shaking. You have to take more food in. And so... Yes. Babies, I guess, who have higher insulin levels do the same thing. Babies who have higher insulin levels tend to eat more, and they tend to insulin makes them gain more weight. So what about babies who get half breasts and half bottle or formula? Do they get the same benefit? Most of the studies so far have been done um, contrasting babies who have had just breast milk and nothing else. We call that exclusive breastfeeding. Um, and they've been compared to babies who are just formula fed. So we don't always know, we don't yet know how much of it um, has to do with um, if you have half breastfeeding and half bottle feeding. Uh, the studies really talk more about babies who have only had breast milk. What I want to do though is we talk about the benefits to the babies in terms of obesity, but I would like you to briefly just list the benefits to the baby from breastfeeding and then we're gonna list the benefits to the mother. I know mm -hmm. this is telling you a lot, but I, we don't have a lot of time and I wanna mm -hmm. make sure we get it out there. And then we're gonna talk about uh, thriving because that's something that many women worry about because mm -hmm. they can't see how much the baby's taking. So what are the, give me two or three benefits to the baby from breastfeeding other than the obesity issue. 
Well, I think that um, one of the major benefits is that babies who are breastfed have stronger immune systems. That yes. is, they fight infection better. Because the tend mother's to have, um, immu immunity is passed on, okay? That's right. Um, they tend to have less um, what we call atopic dermatitis or skin rashes. They tend to also have lower rates of asthma. So and a lot of things related to allergies and skin rashes and asthma. That's right. Lower in breastfed babies. Okay? That's right, than bottle fed babies. Okay. Um, there are studies that show that um, they tend to get um, childhood um, cancer um, less frequently than babies who are formula fed. And um, in general, um, I think that uh, overall, there's the benefit that crosses over from mom and baby called bonding, which is yes. very important in terms of mothers and babies feeling well connected. You didn't mention one thing about having less colicky kinds of cramping and yes. crying from that. Is that still one of the things that they say about babies who are breastfed, they have less colic because breast milk is easier to digest it's already at the right temperature and it uh, is is ready whenever the baby's ready it's ready when they are exactly so what are the what are the advantages for the mothers just listing the when mothers breastfeed, what are their advantages? Well, they're Other than a baby that doesn't cry as much because they're not <laughs> as colicky, what else? Well, I think an important advantage is that it helps the mother recover from the birth process yes. much faster than um, women who don't have an opportunity to breastfeed. Um, it uh, saves women on cost. Breastfeeding, it's estimated that uh, for a year, uh, saves $1,200 to $1,500 a year. Twelve to $1,500 a, a year? A year if you breastfeed as opposed to bottle feed. And uh, breastfeeding is, is very, very helpful to the family in general. Uh, if the mother does have to work, um, there, because she's healthier, because baby is healthier, there's less likelihood that she has to stay home. Um, from work to birth to because her infant is I'm sick. I'm glad you mentioned mothers and work. Are any provisions now being made for women who go back to work and who are still breastfeeding? What can they do? They go to work, they pump before they leave, they go to work, they're at work seven, eight, nine hours. What can they do? Well, in New York State, um, we're pleased to say that there's a law um, that protects women in the workplace. Um, it's unpaid time that they get for breastfeeding, but they are allowed to pump um, at least twice during the day um, to uh, and store milk for their babies. Um, we're happy to also say that um, the, it's been adopted on the national level as well, and um, that's a very important thing we've for many women. We've come a long way. We've come a long way, yes. Well, we've come a long way, and I have two other things that I must get out. Okay. What about me breastfeeding my baby on the subway? Oh, that's perfectly acceptable. New York City has a law, and uh, for those women who are interested and would like to have copies of it, they can call 311 and go on our website with all of the laws for breastfeeding. They, so, and there's more than one, and they can go and get it. more than one, yes. In the minute or so that we have left, do women worry about their baby, not obesity so much, but failure to get enough milk? Absolutely, that's the number one or two reasons why. In fact, the, the most common reason is that moms think that their their babies aren't satisfied, um, that the milk isn't um, enough. And that may be because the breastfed babies often wake earlier, but it's because they digest the breast milk more easily, and so they wake up sooner. You've already told people to call 311 to order their own information, but there's one sentence that I love that you all have on, in your campaign about getting women to breastfeed. And what is it? It's breastfeeding simply the best. Breastfeeding simply the best. Thank you so much, Dr. Boyd, for being here. Thank you. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.